my name is Alondra Melendez. I am a junior college student. I go to Buena Vista University. I'm a psychology and Spanish double major with a minor in social innovation. I have a younger brother. He goes here to St. Mary's and he's in eighth grade now. And then my mom and dad are also live here. Uh, my mom works here in town at a local food pantry as well, so sometimes I go and volunteer with her too. And then my dad works at Iowa Select Farm, so he's really into agriculture and farming and all those kinds of things. So for the most part, I did grow up here in Storm Lake, but I did move around quite a bit. I lived for a time in Texas, and then I lived in Mexico for about five years. I remember it was back in March, we were prepping for this uh, tr campus tradition called Unification Day. So it's a day that's dedicated to volunteering and going out into the community. And I remember we were planning for that, but then that's when COVID hit and so we all got sent home. So I remember that transition was really hard because doing things online, doing finals online and not doing any of the activities that we were doing on campus and then also not being able to properly finish the year was also really hard and we thought it was only going to last for about those two weeks but then they told us that it was probably going to be a much longer thing. I remember when we came back it was in August and then the following month is when I actually got COVID myself and so I got sent home for two weeks and initially I didn't think that it was going to affect me as much because a lot of people that have gotten it before were asymptomatic and so I figured that I would be fine. I usually don't get sick so I thought that I would be okay but after a few days I started feeling all those symptoms. It was definitely a little scary and so I just isolated and locked myself in my room and just did not leave at all because I didn't want to spread that. Um, so and I'd say as things progressed, um, there was a lot of just restrictions in general, which made it really hard to kind of get back into the rhythm of things. And then just thinking back to how things were, my freshman year was way different. And I was just, I don't know, kind of hoping that things would go back to normal. <laughs> I volunteer at Storm Lake High School because I love to work with students and so they, off, they were offering the vaccine to faculty, staff and teachers and as volunteers they were also offering it to us. Me and some of my friends that also go volunteer to, at the high school thought it would be a really good idea to get vaccinated not only to protect ourselves but also to protect the students that we're working with and then also to promote the idea of getting the vaccine on campus. Uh, we were told that if about 80 or 90 percent of campus was able to be vaccinated then things would start going back to normal and a lot of the restrictions that were placed such as wearing masks and social distancing would be lifted. Hey, I also worked at or volunteered at two of the vaccine clinics that were here in town and so I did run into a lot of people that were from the university and then also community members. It was really cool to see that they were there and then also just helping people from the Spanish speaking community too and trying to explain to them the importance of getting vaccinated and everything. And so I think it's important to get vaccinated not only to protect ourselves but also to protect the people around us, our friends, our family, our community members to give us that sense of comfort and so that we can go back to a state of normalcy. Um, there was life before COVID and there will be life after COVID. And so I think that if we get vaccinated, then we can reach that point a lot sooner than if we waited.